Hello everyone and welcome back to Pippa Fennell Take the Reins. Uh, we're here for the second day of the week. I realized when I was editing the last video that um, the first two days, I think, um, are preset and then the rest from there on I'll be able to select. Um, I've changed the... You know what, maybe I should... I might just um, make... I'm just going to quickly change my options again and make the sound effects a little bit quieter. I have my music turned down as far as I can and the mu and the voice is all the way up. So I'm hoping that it'll be um, quieter. Um, like we'll be able to hear the voices better because we couldn't really last time. Um, Misty, that was, this was a, um, like a test thing to test the, the sound. <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. We're going to the library. Let's just go ahead and start the day. Now, it's time to talk about a very important aspect of your training. Uh, for your training, the library. You're going to have to get to know these books. They're essential for your learning. Pupils have a tendency to forget theory, and it's a great pity. All these books have... Have so much to offer. Can I borrow as many books as I want? Obviously, it's a good idea to start with the books that are... That are suitable for your level. Choose the books you want to borrow. Don't forget, once you've opened and closed a book, this counts as borrowing. When you have all the books you need, come and see me, and we'll... And we'll go somewhere else. Okay. Oh, the stupid music still gets really loud sometimes. I don't know, I might turn it off in future. I'll see. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to figure out why I wasn't moving. It's because I need to use arrow keys instead of WASD. I'm so used to WASD. Okay, ooh, there's computers too. Let's have a look around the library. This is cute. Okay. Um, I guess I just need to borrow books over here then. I like the painting. Ordinary walk. Uh, ordinary trot, ordinary canter. Hold salute. Extended walk, standard trot, extended canter. Ooh, okay. Um, I mean, I feel like I already know ordinary walk, but maybe I still need that. Let's read it, I guess. Sure. Um, I'm not going to read all of these because I don't think they really matter, but it's just information, actual information about all these things. I'm pretty sure I just need these to help um, my player learn stuff, but I'm not going to actually read through all these. You can read, pause and read if you want to. Extended walk. Hind hooves tread further in advance of the fore hooves. The horse's neck stretches flatter and rocks more. Okay, so I can see how much time I still have left. So this is like new skills I can learn. So I'm learning extended trot, collected walk, uh, collected trot, Food level one? What's that? Here is a series of tips for understanding your horse. Don't forget to observe his head and body movements carefully. The slightest flick of a tail can tell you a lot about him. If your horse starts scratching the ground, it is because he needs simple food. Hay should do the job. Okay. I think this might actually be stuff that I might need to remember. So I might actually read these. Care. Level one. Oh, I've only got 10 minutes left. Okay, well, I think all the others... Yeah, 20 minutes. Oh, Scottish notebook. What's that? Oh, okay. It's just an article. Second one. It's, they're just pictures. Okay. Interesting. Um, so I guess I'm done in the library then. I learned some new stuff. Am I finished? I guess so. <laughs> And type across country, I'm excited. Let's go. Here we are. Now you can Now you can start on some cross country training. Ooh, exciting press space about to start. 13 fences, beginners level. There are signs with arrows on to tell you which direction to take. You then jump the fences by pressing spacebar at the right moment. If the horse jumps in the green zone in front of a fence, the jump will be successful. You'll notice it's often a good idea to slow down before jumping. Okay, I have no idea what these bars on the side mean. 
Um, okay, in the green side? Aha. See, I think, um, I have a feeling that, uh, the creator of Ranch of, the Ranch of Rivershine took inspiration from, um, this series of games because she uses a similar mechanic for her jumps. This is pretty fun. Can I move my camera around at all? No, I can't. Which is kind of annoying. I wish I could move my camera around. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the first episode, but I read somewhere that for this game they used motion capture to get the horse animations, and I'm pretty sure the rider animations as well. So that's actually why they look so nice, um, is because they use motion capture. Can I go faster? No, I can't. This is the fastest I can go. Okay. So I, yeah, this is the fastest I can go. I can't gallop or anything. Maybe I can gallop later on, because this is pretty slow. <laughs> Um, for cross country. This is fun. Why is it so dark though? It's like dark and stormy. Oops, what happened there? No idea what happened there. What? Why does my horse keep doing that? I'm guessing that's just a bug. What? Oh. What? Okay, we had a refusal. Oh, one refusal. Okay. Okay, come on, lightning. Oh, is it maybe stamina? I can't, like, canter at the fastest gate forever. Is that it, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, because I, like, I don't know what any of these, what these bars on the side mean. It didn't explain what they mean. So, I really don't know. Oh, here's the finish line. Like, what is this up and down bar here doing? Like, it's not telling me. Oh, got some graphics glitches. I completed the circuit, yay! You were excellent. Thank you. Hmm, I still had one or two problems. You made it, and that's what matters. Okay, um, morale is one, health is two. Okay. Token's 180. Cool. All right. Um, okay, and here's my scores. So it's the scores are hard because I have to do two of each event per week, and then that'll give me the total of my scores. So show jumping! There we are. Uh, now you can start training for show jumping. The directions on the ground will tell you which order to take the fences. As in cross country, when your horse jumps from the green zone, the jump is successful. If your horse jumps in the red zone, the jump is wrong, and you'll either knock off poles or your horse will refuse. Careful, your horse's confidence may affect the quality of a jump. The confidence gauge is located on the bottom left and has its own cursor. Oh, so that's what that is, confidence. At the point your horse jumps, if the cursor is in the blue zone, the quality of the jump will suffer. Even if you jump in the green fence zone, you will probably knock down poles. However, you, if you jump when the cursor is in harmony, in the harmony zone represented by a red heart, the quality of your jump will increase. And even if you jump in the red zone, your horse might avoid knocking down poles. The morale points your horse picks or the more morale points your horse picks up, the larger the harmony zone on your gauge. Hence your horse will jump better. Okay. Don't forget your horse's confidence can only help correct a jump that starts badly. You still have to concentrate on the fence zones. Okay, I see now. Okay. Okay, we got in the green zone. And that's in the blue zone. I see. Oh, and so that's why they said I should slow down before a fence, because then I can try to get it in the right zone, in the green zone. Go on. You're nearly there. Okay. Oh, close to the heart. Oh, that was kind of bad. It's kind of weird having to focus on the confidence and the horse's... Um, like the position that the horse is jumping. Oh, okay. This time I'm going to do it. Yep, that was a good one. Oh, not quite. Okay, I mean, we're doing okay so far. Congratulations, your trial was magnificent. Uh, wasn't that great? 8.8, .8. got more tokens, more morale. Okay, 
So I guess my horse isn't that confident right now. So as we train more, he'll get more confident. And now for the lounge. Oh, okay. Uh, the talking is so quiet. It's annoying. Like the music is so loud, but the voice is so loud. <laughs> Okay, so we're having a party. Hey you two, calm down. It's my birthday, and at my birthday everything's cool, okay? Then you better be more selective about who you invite. You talking about me? Oh, I didn't even see you were there. Oh no, I forgot Ginger's present. It's in the attic room. I'll go if you want. And while I'm gone, you can take a few pictures. Okay. Oh. Okay. So we're gonna be on a bit of a timer. Oh. Um, to succeed in the challenge, you have to avoid the lookouts. When the stealth indicator starts to grow, it means they're getting nearer. When the exclamation mark appears, it means you've been spotted and you'll have to go back and start again. Okay. The two lookouts are playing chess. If you manage to disturb their game, um, you'll be able to slip. You'll be able to slip past more easily. You could try borrowing one of their chess pieces. A small clue for you. I know in the library there is someone who can help you get into the attic room where Ginger's present has been hidden. Good luck. Okay, uh, okay, is there a map? Okay, I need a, oh, chess game. Oh dear. Uh, okay, let's go up this way. Okay, where am I now? Okay, I'm at the top of the stairs. It'd be nice if I knew where to go. What's through here? Oh, this is someone's bedroom? Whose bedroom is this? This is cute. How come I don't have a cute bedroom like this with a view? Is this... I think maybe this is Ginger's room because there's a bunch of presents around. So I just... I just walked into Ginger's room. Okay. Uh, okay, nothing in here. Let's try another door. What's this one? Oh, it's a classroom. Oh, <laughs> and Spike's cartoon is still happening. Like it's still going on on his computer. Okay, we're in the classroom. Don't think this is where I need to be. Oops, can I get? No, I can't get through here. Okay, come on. Okay, need to come around this way. It's just a game of guessing. <laughs> what about this room? Or well, this door? Oh, the door to the attic room is locked, but I think there's someone who can help you in the library. Okay, well, how do I get to the library? So I know where the attic door is. Is there something around this way? No? Okay, I need to go back downstairs. Two lookouts are playing chess. Can't do anything with these. Can I go through this door? Is this the library maybe? There's books in front of it. No, oh, this is my room. Okay, whoops. Can I do anything here? No, just go on, I don't wanna go on the laptop right now. Uh, quit. No, quit. Quit? Oh wait, whoops. <laughs> I was clicking the wrong thing. Okay, kitty. At least I'm not being timed, that's good. I don't think, at least not yet. Okay, what's this way? Is there anything this way? This is kind of spooky. Oh dear. Just gotta wait for him to pass, I guess. Okay. Because I'm guessing he's one of the lookouts. Which way is he going to go? Okay. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna go the opposite way to him. Oh dear. It's through this door. I can't go through this door. Oh dear. How do I get past this dude? I don't know. Um. Oh, I think I know what I might need to do. So I need to get past him. I think maybe if I hang out here, like back this way, I might be able to get past without him spotting me. If I hang out over here, will he like not see me? Because he's looking down at the ground or something? Let's see if that works. I don't know if this is going to work or not. You can't see me. You totally can't see me. Just keep looking at the ground. <gasps> it worked. It totally worked. Okay, now I need to come through here. Oh, <gasps> no, no, no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Harry and the director must be playing chess. What if? Curses. One of our pieces has disappeared. How are we gonna finish the game now? I mean, you I could. A good look, but I can't find it. It could have rolled anywhere. You could just take a piece from the other no set. Of money. There's another set down the corridor. Let's go down there and play. Good idea. It's always when you're not looking for something that it turns up. I mean, you're playing a game of chess, but you're both walking around. <laughs> Okay, so now they're out of that area, right? Yes. Ooh, ooh. The telephone number is 444. 4467823. Okay. Might need to use that later. I don't know. Should I have written that down? Maybe I should have. I don't know. Ooh, okay. Where am I going? Where's the library? Is this the library? Uh, the library door is locked. You're going to have to find a key. It must be somewhere. Oh, come on. Why is it locked? Um, let's look down this way. No, okay. Wow, there's just a corridor to a dead end. What's with the spooky music? Okay, let's see what's down this way. Oh, I'm outside? Okay, I don't think the key is going to be outside somewhere. Or will it? I don't know. <laughs> is the key to the library hidden somewhere outside? I don't know. Is it in the wagon? Can I go through this little door? No. Is the key... Oh. Where's this door lead? No, I can't go up there. All I was meant to do was bring back a birthday present from the attic and now I'm like having to avoid lookouts and find a key to get into the library so I can get into the attic. But why is the library door locked if there's someone that's in there that could help me? Like, okay, can't go into the stable, which has magically been repaired since the fire. That was like quick repairs. Okay, there's absolutely nothing for me out here. This was a dead end. Um, let me just check all the stall doors in case I can go into one. Nope. So the key isn't out here. I'm running any of these, is it? Ooh, there's a door. Can I go through that door? Or this big door here? Can I go through here? Oh, darn, I can't. Oh, can I go through this door? No. Maybe this door? This. Can I go up the stairs? No, I can't. Okay, I guess I'm going back inside. So where on earth is the key then? I want to go this way, please. There we go. 
<sighs> Anything down here? Where would a key to the library be? Okay, I don't have to worry about the lookouts here. Anything I can pick up here? Why is there a lamp post inside? It's an interesting decoration. Um, is there a key here? Hmm. I feel like maybe that phone number thing was a red heron? Possibly? Can't go down that way. Can I go down this way now? No. This door leads back to the restroom, but you'll have to get a hold of Ginger's presence before you go back there. Remember that the present is in the attic room and there's someone who can help you in the library. Well, if they're in the library, can't I just knock on the door? Oh dear. Maybe he has the key on him. Am I gonna be super sneaky and just like... Where is the key? Okay, I don't think I can sneak past these guys. Is the key in here, maybe? In my- why would I have a key in my room? Oh! Oh! Wait, no, not my wardrobe. I wanted to- I was thinking the phone, maybe? Can I call someone on the phone? Aha! Uh, inventory. Yes? Oh good, it took down the telephone number, so I can use that. You made the telephone in the corridor ring. The lookouts by the staircase have interrupted their chess game. Okay. So now the chess game is interrupted. And still not seeing a key anywhere. Let's go back outside again, I guess. In case it's hiding somewhere out here and I just didn't see it. Like over this way, maybe? Is there a key hiding near this wood pile? Or back here? Just gotta check every single location. Oh! I didn't even check over this way last time, did I? Any keys? Huh, I didn't even go all the way over here. Maybe for some random reason a person left a key out here. I don't know. Do we see one? Can I go into the arena? Did someone leave a key in the arena? I don't know. I don't think there's a key in the arena. Like, why would there be a key in the arena? That would make no sense. Jesus, arena is small. And she runs so slowly! <laughs> okay. Is there a key over here? There's no key. Maybe I can go even further out to like, all to the gate? Maybe there's a key near the gate for some reason? <laughs> I don't know. Can I go out of this archway here? Please? I can! Ooh, okay. Is there a key here? Can I go into this doorway? Oh, I can! What's here? Oh, it's an office! Oh, here's the key! Perfect! Got the key to the library now. Awesome! And whoever was in the office was clearly playing video games. Okay, so now I know I can go here. I just thought maybe it was somewhere that I couldn't see. Oh, can I read that piece of paper? Oh, nah. Okay. Well, I have the key to the library now. Let's head on back. Oops. Although I do kind of want to see if I can go any further this way. No, I can't. Okay, so that's what I was missing. I just thought, you know, maybe there's a glitch. Maybe the key's invisible. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Nah, the key was right there. Out in plain sight, I just wasn't going to the right location. Gotcha.
I didn't realize I could go further. I, I completely missed an area. Um, oh, here. This is the library, yes? Okay, let's use the key. Yay! Who's in the library? Well, well, well. Oh! Visits are so rare at this time of night. Uh... We've organized a little party for Ginger's birthday, but we forgot her present in the attic room. I get it. No key, no prezi. Well, yeah. It's okay, don't worry, I'll give you the key. There's nothing wrong with having a bit of fun. That's what things are meant to do. Thanks a lot. Mind you, don't go to bed too late. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Can I go back in there and see what it's like? Nah, it won't let me go back. Nah, okay. So now I just need to go back to the library. Without getting caught. Oh wait, they aren't here. They're down near the um the thing oh. I know where they are. So now I need to um I think now I need to ring the f go into my room and ring the phone in order to get past them. Correct? Yes. Cuz you know, they totally can't see me. <laughs> Definitely can't see me. Okay, let's ring the phone. All right, and now I can, yes, go up to the attic. Oops. Oh, and then I'm gonna have to make my way back. Was this the door I was trying to get into? No, this is the classroom. I think it was the next one. Yeah, I think it was this one over here. This sketchy looking door. Oh, need the key. There we go. Oh, this looks actually pretty cool. Why is it her present in the attic though? And what is it? This attic looks pretty cool, although I'm kind of worried about the floorboards. There's a saw. Why on earth is the present in the attic? That's just a weird place to put a present. Okay, let's Aha, grab it. There it is. Yay! Now we can head on back. Just gotta avoid the lookouts, otherwise I'll have to do this all over again. Alright. So I've interrupted their chess game now, so they're gonna be wandering again. Um... Oh dear! Other way! And hide! To wait for this guy to go back and then I can go steal the chest piece again. Okay. He totally won't see me just walking behind him like this. Is it that? No, it was that way. Oh wait, no, but I need to hide down here. Oh wait, no, never mind. I just need to go here. <laughs> what am I talking about? There we go! Here's your present. What did we get her? Wow, a CD player. Thanks a lot. A CD player? Oh, it must be like a like a small one. Like a handheld one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, and they've already set up the next day for me. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and end um, this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!